Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the session. I'm Vladimir Skapa, I'm Technical Marketing at Testi Microelectronics and on behalf of my colleagues Jan Izetlik and David Juv, I'm going to introduce you a new modded module for industrial power applications from ST Microelectronics. This module is called SMIT, which stands for Surface Mount Isolated Topside Cooling, and it is part of the ASPEC family modules from ST. As you see from the picture on the left side, the module contains one DPC substrate where several chips can be soldered on and connected to each other and to the output pins. The top side contains a cup area which is used for the heat dissipation and it is fully isolated from all the other pins from the package. An invalid certification of 2.5 kV RMS has been uh, already achieved and a 4 kV one has been already applied. On the right side we see some important uh, dimensions from the package. It is basically a 33 per 25 mm package, including the output pins. There is a distance of uh, 4 mm between the pins and the top side, and a 7 mm creep edge between the so-called power pins. The, the cup area uh, that we, we just mentioned has around 4.6 square centimeter area. In the next slides, we will see some, some interesting points about the spec smith, including the motivation of the package, the product portfolio, some application examples, and assembly hints and thermal design. To understand the motivation for a molded module like ASPEC Smith, we need to compare it with the mostly used discrete devices in industrial power applications. Starting with the 2247, a very standard package, we see that uh, despite its good thermal behavior, there are several drawbacks like a small creep edge between pins, manual assembly and high straight pin inductance, just to mention a few of them. With the 2247 4 pin, one drawback has been eliminated, which is the shared source pin between the control and power loops. With the Kelvin pin now, the inducted voltage on the power source does not affect the commutation speed of the switches anymore. Several other uh, drawbacks still remain though. And the next step are then the SMD devices. With them, we can have now automatic device assembly and lower parasitic inductances. However, packages like the square pack dissipates towards the PCB and therefore the uh, dissipation capability is quite limited, forcing the use of several devices in parallel or PCBs with insulated metal substrate, which increases the system cost and complexity. With the ASPEC Smith, we can now really overcome all the uh, disadvantages of the former discrete packages. It is assembly just like any SMD device. Top side cooling makes the dissipation as easy as in a TO package or even easier since the top side is, is, is isolated. The pin to pin creepage is also enhanced to 7 mm in comparison to standard 2.4 mm from a TO247. And finally, by being a module and not a discrete device, several dies can be assembled inside the package. It can therefore substitute two or more discretes, which uh, then reduces assembly cost and time, as well as the overall system volume and complexity. The planet product portfolio for this package includes uh, practically all the power semiconductor technologies offered by ST, which in includes silicon diodes, silicon carbide diodes, thyristors, and also silicon carbide MOSFETs. The possible configurations are also uh, quite variable. They include the half bridge, the full bridge, the six pack, uh, and also the mixed bridge, a combination of silicon diodes and thyristors, and the dual pack where the two MOSFETs are not connected to each other. The uh, timeline is also quite, quite close. Uh, we have samples uh, coming out by the, the end of this year and the beginning of the next year and several of the devices are going into production during next year. Where you see the, the car symbol, it means that the, the part number is, uh, is going to be qualified according to the automotive qualification path. 
In the next two slides, we are going to show some of the topologies which can be formed by combining different part numbers of the product portfolio in a spec smith. They have been divided in the function inside the, the circuit and the target ap application. In this slide, we will show solutions for SMPS, for electrical vehicle chargers, and for solar inverters. The topologies can be the totem pole PFC uh, in different uh, variations, the three phase PFC like the P6 and the modified VN uh, rectifier, and the classical NPC type 2 inverter. The charges for electrical vehicles need still another uh, conversion stage, the isolated TCDC, which could be either uni or bidirectional. In both cases, it's possible to implement the full topology with part numbers from the product portfolio in a spec smith. The, the bidirectional version could be also used in storage systems in order to charge and, and discharge the storage batteries. The next slides are going to be dedicated to the mechanical assembly and the thermal design of the spec smith. Being a new package offered by ST, we assume that our customers might not be yet fully experienced with this module, and therefore we propose here three different mechanical configurations that have been tested separately and whose results are going to be presented in the next slides. They are all based in the association of four ASPEC Smiths that are soldered on the same PCB and attached to the same heatsink. Starting from the left, the configuration one has a counterplate that in combination to individual estampos, they provide the pressure to each A-spec smith towards the heatsink. Configuration two in the middle has no counterplate and the pressure is given exclusively by the screws that are assembled with spacers to avoid the bending of the PCB. The screws are in line with the A-spec smith devices on the board. Finally, the configuration tree on the right side has a similar concept. Just now the screws are assembled in a square, meaning that each A-spec smith uh, device has now four dedicated screws. The used torque for in all configurations was one newton meter. A dedicated application note is going to be published very soon in ST's website. Please uh, refer to it for more information on the mechanical assembly, soldering, and thermal design of the spec smiths. On the same way, we have also tested different thermal interface materials. Uh, starting from the left to the right of the table, we have the graphite foil, which is a non-electrical isolating material, but with very good uh, thermal properties and 150 micrometer thickness. We have also tested two silicone foils with two different thickness, 150 and 300 micrometer, each one for one isolation class. And finally, the polyamide or Captain foil with very good thermal properties, since it is uh, uh, also coated with a uh, phase change material, very thin, only 50 micrometer, which become even less at higher temperature, and 7 kilovolt isolation. All these materials uh, have been applied to the four aspects meet on the board and tested separately. To do the thermal measurements, we have used it as test vehicle, the device in aspect smith with four diodes inside in full bridge configuration. The devices have been uh, uh, pre-characterized at different temperatures and from this measurement, a curve has been extracted, which indicates the junction temperature as function of the forward voltage. In this specific device, each diode inside has a thermal thermo resistance from junction to case of around 1 Kelvin per watt. After that, the four devices in the board have been connected in series, and a constant current of a 15 amp has been applied to the devices. This would cause around 8.5 watt per diode uh, dissipation or 34 watt dissipation per device. The graphs on this slide present the estimated junction temperature of each of the diodes inside the specs meets on the board using different thermal interface material. 
the data have been uh, read out. After that, uh, the devices have been warmed up from the internal power dissipation. Each graph is representing one of the mechanical configurations. As general comments, for the same configuration and thermal interface material, the diode temperatures were very similar to each other. The inner devices in the board had also slightly higher temperatures than the outer devices in the board. In all configurations, the lowest temperature have been obtained with the graphite foil and the higher temperatures with the seeker silicon foil, as expected. The captain foil and the senior silicon foil had similar results. For configuration 3, the seeker silicon foil has not been, been used, but a thermal grease instead. Even though we believe that in some cases the thermal grease might not be sufficient to compensate the tolerances uh, between devices and also from the solder itself, in our setup the thermal grease uh, behaved quite well and presented the lowest temperatures in absolute. In all the measurements, the heat sink temperature was around 85 degrees C. By subtracting each of the diode temperatures by 85 and dividing it by the amount of power dissipated by each diode, 8.5 Watt, it's possible thus to estimate the thermal, thermal resistance between the junction to the heat sink for each combination. By dividing this value by, by 4, the amount of diodes in each device, it's also possible to obtain the uh, thermal resistance junction to the heat sink from the complete A spec smith. The conclusion is that the RTH junction to the heat sink from each diode is around 2.5 to 4.5 Kelvin per watt, depending on the configuration and thermal interface material. With thermal grease, this value is only 1.8 Kelvin per watt, not to uh, forget that uh, uh, the internal junction to case um, thermal, thermal resistance from each diode is around 1 Kelvin per watt. The RTH of the complete module can thus be well below 1 Kelvin per watt. This confirms our first expectation, which is that uh, each A-spec smith can dissipate from 60 to 100 watt with forced cooling. This is good enough to substitute two devices in TIL247 in a system with similar cooling concept. Yet another possibility with a spec smith is to substitute SMD devices in the application, like the D-square pack. For this comparison, we have also constructed uh, dedicated test benches, and the test vehicle from a spec smith was the one with four silicon carbide diodes inside, each one rated for 20 m continuous current. The devices in the square pack has the same chip inside, one for each device. A single way pack smith has been then soldered on a standard FR4 PCB, while four devices of the square pack have been soldered in an IMS board. The isolated area on the boards for both packages were the same, or 8.75 square centimeter. The dissipation uh, has been done through liquid cooling at two different temperatures for the liquid, namely 25 and 65 degrees C. At 65 uh, degrees C liquid temperature, the spec smith uh, reached 150 degrees C at the junction by dissipating 170 Watt. The same temperature has been achieved by the four D square packs with only 123 Watt or 38% lower. This shows the potential of the spec smith able to dissipate more even by using a standard FR4 board. To summarize quite shortly my presentation, I have introduced to you the spec smith, a molded module that is going to be offered by ST. Uh, the printed product portfolio for this package included several uh, power semiconductor technologies like thyristors, silicon diodes, silicon carbide diodes, in, and MOSFETs in different configurations. And the target applications in industry are SMPS, EV charger, solar, and energy storage. 
there are different ways to assemble it mechanically and also uh, different possibilities for thermal interface material. We have shown some of them, we have tested it thermically and we have uh, demonstrated that uh, it's possible to substitute up to two TO247 uh, devices or four T square pack devices by a single ASPEX MIT module. Thanks a lot for your time today. I'm going to be present in the Q&A session. If you still have questions after that, please do not hesitate to contact me. Take care and bye-bye.